Installing the Z-axis motor over here is actually a little easier than it was when we installed the Y-axis motor, primarily because we're not capping the motor with anything at this point. We will do that later, but for now, all we need to do is install the motor. This takes four of the M3 6mm screws and one stepper motor. I flipped the base upside down just to show you where the Z motor gets installed. It goes in this spot here, and it's important that the wires head towards the printer board. We can put the Z motor in here just to show you where it goes, but you'll actually need to install it from the top. Here I've positioned it the way I like to, which is sending the wires down and underneath this motor here. And basically, the best way to describe this is that it's on the opposite side of the Z rod end. And some people may choose to put it like this, which is fine. It works just the same. I just prefer to have it down on the other end because the rest of our wires are going to come from here. And we'll probably zip tie them all together to keep things nice and neat. So I prefer having the wires set like this. As is the case with every motor, if yours isn't labeled, go ahead and add the label now. Just mark it with a letter Z for the Z axis motor. Position the motors so the wires are pointing out this direction, which is essentially the opposite of the Z rod end. So just make sure, if you want to do like I prefer, that they're pointing in this direction. If you want to point them downward, that's fine too, just make sure they're pointed towards the printer board. Now if I just pick up the base and cap it over the motor, it's actually going to be too low, the screws won't reach. So I just take the two wood wrenches here, stack them underneath the motor, that way it gives the motor just enough elevation so that it comes up to the height of the base. So when I pick this up and put it over top, it lines up really easy. Be sure that you don't pinch your motor wires with the frame, just kind of tuck them underneath, and then this drops into place nice and flat. Line up your screw holes and add your M3 6mm screws. When we installed the last motor, I advised that you don't over tighten the screws. It is possible to over tighten the screws and rip out the threads on the motor. So again, just tighten them till they're firm and stop. When you're finished, flip the base over so you can make sure that the wires went in the direction you thought you installed them. If they're in the right spot, then you're done and ready to move on. 